welcome to another video of ed4 on spss tutorials today in this video i am going to demonstrate to you how we can conduct a descriptive analysis using spss let's begin open spss here i am opened a data file here is the structure of data file or variable view first variable is employee code it is a numerical in type and it is a scale variable the second is gender i defined it as string so you can see here the values f4 female and m4 male okay the third one is job category this is an employee database so job category is a numerical assigned 1 to sale 2 to finance and 3 to hr here you look you can assign gender as numeric also no problem but for demonstration purpose here assign gender as string next is salary here i am assigned the variable type as custom currency or you can assign it as numeric or you can assign it as dollar no problem so there is no value because i am assigned it as scale and the job category is nominal scale and the gender is also nominal scale next one is salary beginning the beginning salary of an employee also scale so there is no values assigned to that variable next one is job time that means month since hire that means how many months you are here in the organization that is months since hire so this is a scale variable uh, in this uh, column we are assigning the experience in month in the present organization the next variable is previous experience in months so before joining this organization what is your experience in month in other organization so these are the different variables i am going to consider in my database so this is the variable view next the data view so i have already assigned the data for this uh, uh, variables so here you can see scroll down i have already assigned 474 records or 474 employee records in this database so you can download this database i have already given the link below in the description you can download it and you can use the database for your practice so id a continuous variable you can see gender male female male female so uh, this variable is assigned as a string so f4 female and m4 male uh, this is the job category so sales hr and finance and this is the salary and this is the salary beginning and job time that is experience in the current organization in months so this is a previous experience of the employees in other organization or before joining this organization so here you can click this uh, button value labels so you can see the labels here job category is a categorical variable you are assigning 1 2 3 4 3 uh, departments and here is gender you can see here an a that means a string variable so m4 male and f4 female the remaining all the variables in the database are assigned as scale so here we are going to conduct a descriptive analysis because a descriptive analysis plays a key role in research process so click analysis here you can see descriptive statistics first i am going to uh, take frequencies frequency analysis is very important so click on frequency you can see which variable that we are going to conduct a frequency analysis because a categorical variable is best suited for frequency analysis so here i am going to select gender for frequency analysis so just add gender then just click okay this is the result so valid and missing there is no missing data 474 variables are valid so here you can see the frequency table of gender the female frequency 216 male frequency 258 so this is a frequency we can see here so in total 474 then percentage is 45.6 percentage of female and 54.4 are male you can see then valid percentage and cumulative percentage so you can copy this 
uh, table and paste it to your uh, research document preparation software for example word or notepad etc so this is a frequency analysis now i'm close this you can save click here yes here i'm not going to save it now we are going to uh, analyze descriptive statistics frequencies so this way you can analyze the employee category also you can click here employee category so here i am added variable gender and employee category so click okay you can see the two descriptive analysis of frequency table here first one is gender we have already seen it next is the employee category sales 363 employees are working in sales department and 27 are working in finance and 84 are working in hr so this is a percentage distribution of the employees in different departments and this is a valid percentage and this is a cumulative percentage categorical variables are more suitable for displaying in uh, frequencies so i am going to close it so i you, if you want to display the gender and department in a cross tab fashion how many males are in department and how many females are in different department that is another descriptive analysis and very informative analysis it is called cross tabulation so here take analysis then descriptive statistics cross tab okay take the cross tab so rows and columns here i am adding gender as row and employee category as column so cross tab means we are analyzing the relationship of two variables so just add row gender and column as employee or you can assign column as gender or row as employee category no problem so add these two in row and column so just press okay this is a very informative cross tab analysis so gender or employee category 100% this is the basic information here you can see sales finance and hr so female how many are in sales department 206 and a male 157 that is total strength in sales department is 363 among 206 are female and 157 as male here in finance no female are working in finance department the entire 27 are males then hr department female 10 and male 74 total 84 so this way you can get another insight into the data this is called cross tab analysis sometimes you need to present this in your research so next important statistical descriptive analysis is take analysis descriptive statistics take descriptive here adding current salary okay then here an option is there click on option we can see all the descriptive statistics mean you can select it standard deviation variation range standard error of mean you can select kurtosis skewness select all then press continue then press okay you can see the end statistics of current salary number 474 employees range statistics 119250 so maximum and minimum salary then mean mean salary 34419 standard error then standard deviation then variance statistics then skewness and kurtosis so these are the different descriptive statistics you can see in this table so this way you can analyze more than one variable at a time take analyze descriptive statistics descriptive you can see i have already added current salary and uh, you can say beginning salary here i have already added then options are already selected so just click okay we can see the current salary beginning salary okay so another method you can make descriptive analysis is that descriptive statistics frequencies you can see here in statistics you can i'm deselect these two they were sorry experience for example or months since here so experience in the organization here i am click the statistics then quartiles mean so standard deviation minimum maximum 
variants standard error ketosis skewness and ketosis so we can select all these from frequency menu also then continue then click okay so this is the frequency distribution table you see here 27 employees are 81 month experience in this organization get it so 23 employees are 93 month experience in this organization so this way this is a percentage and this is val percentage this is a cumulative percentage so here you can see the statistics here valid for 474 there is no missing value this is a mean average experience of the employees in the organization standard error of mean you can see here standard deviation 10.061 then variance are there skewness ketosis then minimum experience 63 and maximum experience is 98 months in the organization then percentiles are there so this way you can take the descriptive analysis from here i'm closing it from analyze descriptive and frequency is also there get it so take the frequency so this way you can prepare descriptive statistic statements of all the variables here i am adding more variables beginning previous experience select statistics quartiles mean skewness ketosis minimum maximum standard error of mean i am deselecting this then range also standard deviation variance okay so click continue and click okay now we can see the month since hired that's a experience within the organization then current salary statistics the beginning salary statistics previous experience statistics this is a descriptive statistics of frequency distribution of uh, months since hired that is the experience within the organization so next is current salary frequency distribution you can see the salary distribution is very huge 13 employees withdrawing 30750 as salary this is a frequency distribution so this way you can draw a frequency distribution and uh, descriptive statistics using spss so download this data file and practice yourself so this is all about descriptive analysis in spss so i hope you enjoy this video i have already given the link of this database file in the description section below download it and practice it if it is helpful for you please share to your friends and colleagues and don't forget to subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon for latest update so see you on next video thank you